Hello drummers, how's it going? It's Alex once again bringing some more fun drumming ideas and today I thought we'd look at a really cool sounding drum fill. It uses little groups of four and six with a slightly alternative sticking so we'll be using some accents, some ghost notes and a few kicks as well. So uh, sit back, relax and I'll show you what I'm on about. Here we go. Okay, right, so behind the kit, which is probably the best place to be for doing this lesson, and uh, we're going to do the groups of four first. Like I said, it's made up of groups of four and groups of six, and I forgot to mention there's actually one lonely quarter note at the end. Um, so let's start with the groups of four, because we're going to use them quite a lot. In fact, for the second half of the fill, we're going to be playing this pattern. Okay, so that's, you know a bar's worth or half a bar if you're playing in 30 second notes. And what we're doing is we're doing an accent with the right hand, two ghosties with the left and then a kick with the foot. So you're going to get this one E and a two E and a three E and a four. So on beat four, the last note, we're just going to do a quarter note like I said on the snare drum. So let's play that one more time. One E and a two E and a three E and a four. Now we can do the same thing, but we're just going to move our right hand around the tom. So we're going to start the snare, then high, then floor, then back to the snare. So we're going to get one E and a two E and a three E and a four. One more time. Okay, you can use this as a fill on its own. Okay, so let's look at the groups of six. Now the groups of six are a fairly similar kind of pattern. Um, these are not sectuplets, okay, because sectuplets would sort of, you're squeezing six notes into one quarter note, whereas this actually works out um, like as, as six sixteenth notes. So if you were starting on beat one, it would take you all the way up to the E of beat two uh, before you finished it. Okay, so remember that. You don't want to be doing sectuplets, you want to be doing sixteenth notes, okay? And it's going to go like this. We've got, we've got a right hand accented, then a left, which is a ghost. Then another heavy right. That's halfway through. So you've got right, left, right. And then we're going to do left, left, kick. Two lefts, both are ghost notes. Left, left, kick. So we've got this right, left, right, left, left, kick. So if we were starting from beat one, it'd be one E and a two E. Like that. Okay, so let's just practice moving that right hand off of the high tom down onto a snare like we will do with our fill. So we're going to get this. Okay, it's another good little exercise just to practice. Again, this is really going to help with your left hand getting those ghost notes sounding nice and sweet. So, the first half of the fill is going to include one group of four, which we're just going to play uh, on the snare drum, obviously, and then with the kick. So we've got... So that's our group of four, and that leaves us 12 notes to finish the first half of the groove, if we're playing in 30 second notes, or it would take up a whole bar if we're doing it in 16. So we've got one E and a. Uh, it's the first part. And then we're going to go... Two E and a three E and a four E and a. That was confusing. <laughs> Basically, one group of four, two groups of six. It's going to sound like this. Might be used to count it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'd probably find it easier that way. Just use the beat. Sorry, right, that's Phil. That was wrong. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay, so all we got to do now is take what we did with the first half, add that to the second half, and we've got our drum fill. So let's play it slowly, and then we'll build up speed play it to a groove and then I'll uh, I'll leave you alone. <laughs> so here we go, we've got That's the first half, second half. Okay, so this time I'm going to play the same thing but just take the gap away. Okay, just practice looping it round and round and round, especially with a metronome if you've got one. 
Try and count it. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, done. I hope that worked. Let's chuck in a groove and I'll come and say goodbye. Here we go. Hopefully that'll sound good in the recording. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll come and say goodbye. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that lesson. It's quite a tricky drum feel to get the hang of, but it's really fun when you get it down finally. I'm still working on it myself, but um, when I come up with a few more ideas you can use for those little groups of four and six, then I'll post some more videos just to give you a little bit extra to play around with. Okay, so uh, I won't keep you long. I'll just uh, remind you that if you have a request, you can go and stick that on my Facebook page. Um, if you like what you're watching and you haven't already, then hit the subscribe button. And uh, you know, at the same time, if you're there, just click that like button. That makes me smile, like this, <laughs> which is always a good thing. Okay, so uh, yeah, I think I'll come and say goodbye. So adios.